you know, like, hey, you know, y'all, y'all gave you the goods, the good soil. So be, do, do your due diligence to, to reap for y'all, you know. Uh, okay, verse verse seven. For the vineyard of Yah of hosts is the house of Israel, and the man of Judah his plant, his pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression for righteousness, but behold, a crime. So what's one thing we was talking about? They was doing it wasn't judgment. We was talking about that the, a few weeks ago. And this is one main thing that caused what to happen? What for the garden to grow wildly? Because there was no judgment in it. You know, you letting the weeds grow, nobody tending to it, you letting the ants in, the ladybugs, they eating everything. Like, this is my this is my pleasant garden. Nah, so y'all takes y'all want a prize garden. Uh verse eight. Woe unto them that join house to house, that lay field to field, that lay field to field. Y'all, y'all special, y'all gardens are separate. You know, that's, we're going to talk about seeds, too, you know, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> y'all garden is supposed to be with y'all gardens, you know, uh, but we're going to talk about seeds in a little bit, too, why, why this is a key thing, uh, that lay field to field till there be no place that may be placed alone in the midst of the earth, okay, now we're going to go to Romans 11, 13 to 24. Eleven, thirteen, twenty-four. Thirteen, twenty. Okay. And well, this goes uh, very well to uh, what I was just saying a moment ago about how Zion is Yah's choice uh, vineyard, and uh, the other nations are His vineyard too. But uh, Zion is his choice vineyard, and this is I'm um, going to go into details about how uh, the, the the other nations shouldn't uh, look down upon the wild uh, grapes, even though they, they have become wild and whatnot. They're still Yah's choice field. Okay, verse thirteen. For I, but it goes to the parables about the garden. It's the main points about this. For I speak to the Gentiles. In so much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. If by any means I may provoke to the emulation, what a fourteen one? What does that mean? Fourteen one. Jealousy. It, it reads, uh, if by any means I may provoke to jealousy them which are my flesh. Meaning, because Paul was an Israelite, and he's saying, by any means, I may provoke them to a jealousy that are my flesh, the Israelites, and might save some of them. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be? But life from the dead can these dry bones live. That's in uh, in the Old Testament. That's uh, Ezekiel. There you go. Uh, four sixteen. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And that goes back to the uh, the, the the rules about first fruit uh, in the Leviticus when the first fruits because you had to give all your first fruits to Yah. And in order to see if it was a, a bountiful and blessed harvest, you would take the first fruit, try them out, and if those yeah, the best for first fruits, and if they if they were fine, you were ready to garden the rest of it. So, and these are things that you present to Yah. And right now, it's the it's the it's the bodies right now because Yah is looking for those first fruits, basically in the in the taking away. He's looking for the first fruits to come, and then everybody else, you know, he'll get those later, you know. But you want to be the first fruit in this aspect of uh, getting taken away, you know. Those are the first fruits. So you want to make sure you, you're gardening everything. That's right, because you don't want to be there, you know. You don't want to be the gleamers, the gleamers, okay. Uh, Clean up. Yeah, you know, that's the bad, that's, that's the, that's, you're in bad, you, you still got something, but you know, it's not as good as the first fruit. Because the first fruit got out of there quick, they went with y'all quick, okay. 
uh, 16, for if the first fruit be holy, the lump is holy, is also holy, and if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou, and though being a wild olive tree, talking to the, um, to the Gentiles, were grafted in among them, and with them partakest of the roots and fatness of the olive tree, boast not, boast not against the, the branches. Meaning like, uh, you know, the time of um, Yah would, would, would go to the Gentiles and he would make Zion jealous. Uh, Paul is just reminding the, the, the Gentiles like, hey, we understand, I understand what's going on here. Yah is making uh, Zion jealous and, and working in your fields now. Now Zion got the wild berries and they tree and Yah is in there in the Gentiles garden. He like, what? And Zion is looking at their garden they looking at, and Zion looking at the wild berries rolled up, and they getting a little jealous. You know, they getting a little jealous because they see the Gentiles' gardens looking a little bit better. They got bigger strawberries, and them peaches up there and everything, and whatnot. Yeah, melt, watermelons. You know how they got, like, watermelons. You know, you know, y'all probably did that on purpose. Uh, 18, boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root, but the root thee. 19, uh, what was this, 2, 24. Thou, uh, thou wilt say then the branches were broken off. So the Gentiles were saying, hey, because they're not really understanding this. Yah is working with you to make you jealous. So he's in your garden to make the his prize garden jealous, the, the Israelites. Thou wilt say then the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. 20. Well, because of unbelief they were bro broken off, and thou standest by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. For if Yah spare not the natural branches, the wild berries, take heed lest he also spare not thee. Behold, therefore, the goodness and Servity of Yah on them which fail servant, uh, servanty, but towards thee, goodness. If thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shalt be cut off. And they also, if they abide not still in the in unbelief, shall be grafted in. For Yah is able to graft them in. Gardening, so y'all know how to how to prune something, how to graft graft it in. Take this root, take this root, and work it out. Where is this a bountiful tree? Twenty four. For if thou were cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted? into their own olive tree. So um, that, that was the last one there. That was just showing you um, these parables and and and, and the, uh, you know how Yah was talking about uh, Yahushua was talking about vineyards and planting and and uh, showing you how to plant and how to um, reap what you sow. And now we're going to go uh, to the next session about the seeds. Okay, how how important seeds are. Okay, and that's going to be Genesis 3. We'll go to Genesis 3. And that's just um, the, the, how it all started with the seeds. Okay. Genesis 3. And um, it's going to be 3, 2... Well, you know, we can skip Genesis 3. Y'all know about the seed line. I don't need to read that. Uh, let's go to Mal Malachi... Two. Malachi two. Malachi two and seven to seventeen. Two to seventeen. Malachi chapter two, verse seven to seventeen. 
and you know, and, and, and Yah is very particular what you do with his seed and how you plant his seed and you know how you nurture his seed. So you got to take uh, very uh, due diligence how to uh, work Yah's seed. And if you don't know what seed is, it's your sperm. Okay, you know. Uh, seven. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at, at his mouth. For he is the messenger of Yah of hosts. And a little background story about just the, the biblical priesthood was going off, so Yah is uh, rebuking them. But um, verse 8. But ye are departed out of the way. Ye have caused many to stumble at the law. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi, said Yah of hosts. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people, according as as ye have not kept my ways. And you know, that was a heavy hit, because the uh, Levitical priesthood, that, that was basically, you know, that, that was the royal priesthood. Y'all talking about, I'm going to make you base. Y'all going to be the mop-up people, the, the weeders. You, you're going to be weeding. Uh, but have been Partial in the law. Have we not all one Father, one Abba? Have not one Yah created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Yehuda have dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem, for Judah have profaned the holiness of Yah, which he loved, and have married the daughters of the strange God. Yah will cut off the man that doeth this, the root you, the master and the scholar, out of the tabernacle of Yakub, and him that offereth an offering unto Yah of hosts. This is, uh, 17. Verse um, 13. And this have ye done again, covering the altar of Yah with tears, with weeping, and with crying out, and so as much that he regarded not the offering any more, or received it with good will at your hand. Yet ye say, Wherefore, because Yah hath been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, this is getting to the main point. Against whom thou hast dealt treacherously, yet is she thy companion and the wife of thy covenant? And did not he make one? Yet had he the residue of the Spirit, and wherefore one, that he might seek a godly seed. Okay. And the reason why Yah is upset with them is because they're planting their seed in in a garden that they weren't supposed to plant it in, and you and you messing up the end results, you know, because you put a, a seed in Alabama and you put that same seed in North Korea, it's gonna be different. It's gonna it's gonna be different, and Yah is very particular about his garden, so you gotta be careful. You know? Nah. <laughs> so, you plant your seed where you're supposed to plant your seed. So, because stuff won't go mess up, you know, this is correction going to have to take place. Okay? Some pruning. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, okay. It, uh, okay. Treasures against the wife of his youth. 16. For Yah. Uh, for Yah, the Elohim is of Israel, said that he hath put it away. He hated putting away for one covered violence with his garment. Said the said Yah of hosts. Therefore, take heed to your spirit that ye deal not treacherously. Ye have worried, wearied Yah with your words. Yet ye say, wherein have we wearied him? When when ye say. Everyone that doeth evil is good in the sight of Yah, and he delighted in them. Where is Yah of judgments? And you know, uh, just a side note, you know that that's seventeen. That's a deep one, man, because that is what the that that is what the 
the Catholic churches, the religions are built off right there. And I'm going to read it again. This is an open rebuke for the religious folks. Ye have wearied Yah with your words. Yet ye say, wherein have we worried him? When ye say, everyone that doeth evil is good in the sight of Yah, and he delighted in them, or where is Yah of judgments? That's deep, because I hear that a lot. Uh, God hate the sin and not the sinner. You're disgusting in his presence. I, you know, and... And, and it's that stench that's coming off of you. Because, you know, because again, this, we're going to talk about that a little. The smell of heaven and, and, and Garden of Eden is nothing. I mean, this, you know, no matter what you smell good over here, you're nothing in comparison to righteous smelling. And we're going to talk about that a little bit too. But, uh, you know, this is a, that's, that's, that's what the, a lot of these religious folks are built off of. You know, they, they say Yah is okay with this and, and he's disgusted with it. Um, 2 Kings 11 and 1. 2 Kings 11 and 1. 2 Kings 11 and 1. And you're going you gonna to find out why y'all talked about all this garden. You know, say the best for last. 2 Kings 11 and 1. And, okay, he was talking about the sea line and whatnot. And when... Athaliah, Atha the mother of Ahiza, and it just, this, 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 this demon is evil. Uh, the mother of Ahiza saw that her son was dead. She arose and destroyed all the sea royal. So this goes back to planning, though. There's royal seed, the royal seed line where Yah is planting in his choice vineyard. The, and that is the house of Zion. This is his royal seed line. And what did she go to do after she, you know, got a hissy fit or whatnot? A demonic hissy fit, I should say. Uh, she say, I'm going to kill all of Yah's vineyard. So he ain't going to be able to plant anything. But this also goes into, you know, they were trying to stop the prophecy from happening. Because they was trying to stop the Mashiach from coming to destroy the seed line from the vineyard. Uh, Second Chronicles 22 and 10. Second Chronicles 22 and 10. 22 and 10. 22. Okay. 22 and 10. But when Athaliah, the mother of Ahazarah, saw that her son was dead, she arose. That's just a precept of death. Ezariah 9. Ezariah 9. That was just a precept today. The next book over, Ezariah 9. 9, verse 2. 9, verse 2. Okay. Okay, and uh, just like we was talking about in Malachi, about uh, doing, doing righteousness with your seed. Uh, 9 and 2. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed, having mingled themselves with the people of those lands, the Gentiles, the heathens, yea, the hand of the princes and the rulers have been chief in this trespass. So again, Yah is very particular about how you grow your garden. You know, a lot of people, uh, you know, or this is a very touchy subject for a lot of people about, you know, let love love. But Yah say, you know, he want a particular, when Yah say he want an apple tree from Georgia, that's all he want. He want an apple tree from Georgia. He don't want an apple tree uh, from Wisconsin. He didn't tell you to plant an apple tree in Wisconsin. He told you to plant it in uh, Georgia. And he, so you want a Georgia peach? <laughs> you know, well, uh, yeah, Georgia peach, he, he, he didn't say he wanted a peach uh, seed that is planted in Wisconsin. He wanted planted in this particular ground for a particular reason, to get particular, uh, uh, yeah, there you go. Nutrients, vitamins, in yeah, particular. Okay. Uh, and Isaiah, next one's going to be Isaiah uh, 6 and 8. 
So it's very uh, important where you place your seed at. You don't want to be reckless with your seed. This is Isaiah 6, 8 to 13. Isaiah 6, 8 to 13. Also, I heard the voice of Yah saying, Whom shall I send and whom will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy. Shut their eyes, lest they see with their e eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Then said I, Yah, how long? And how, he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate, and Yah had removed man far away, far away, and there be a great forsaking in the midst of the land. But yet, yet in it shall, this is the main point, but yet in it shall be a tenth, and it shall return, and shall be eaten, and a till tree, and as an oak whose substance is in them when they cast their, le their uh, leaves. So the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. You know, just, uh, so we covered that. God is very uh, particular how his garden is grown. Uh, he, he likes to uh, talk about gardening parables because he's big on gardening. And, uh, you know, in the main point in that section, that would be careful where you place your seed in because y'all want a particular end result. Uh, so, you know, you don't want, you don't, you don't want a cow chicken. You know what I'm saying? You know, he want a chicken. <laughs> That's it. You don't want anything outside of a chicken. You know? So, okay, now we're going to uh, get to the more more pleasant of the planting. So we understand the planting uh, about uh, putting it in, in good ground and put it in bad ground and, and being particular where you want where you want to see and who his choice seeds are. And now we're going to talk about the beauty of his planting. So this is this is Psalms of Solomon chapter two. Psalms of Solomon chapter two. Yes, yes. Now if this can't help your marriage out, y'all y'all be separate. Uh, if the book, if Psalms of Solomon can't help your marriage out, uh, your marriage is dead. Yeah, chapter two. Yeah, this, this is a, you know, this, that yeah, it's dead. That you got it. It's dead. Yeah, it's dead. You know, put on, put on the, uh, the Smokey Robinson and just, and just <laughs> let it go. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. One this verse? is chapter two. Uh, chapter two for now. We're gonna start at one. Okay. Okay. Now this is this is the the pleasance of when you plant your garden, what it will reap, and how it's so beautiful. You know, I am the rose of Sharon, and the lily of the the valleys. As the lily among thorns, so is my love among the darters. Meaning, you know, amongst the weed and tares, you know. Three, as the apple tree among the trees of, of the wood, so is my beloved among the sons. I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. Now what happens after you know you, you in your marriage, you done put in work, you done put in the right soil, you done put in the right amount of work, the right amount of water. What do you say? She said, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. <laughs> you know, this is CC, all that hard work, you know, paying off now. This, this is the paying off process. We went to the hard work, now we're paying off. Four, he brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. Stay, stay me with flogums. Uh, comfort me with apples, for I am sick of love, meaning I, I'm long for it. His, his left hand is under my hand, 
and his right hand doeth embrace me. I charge ye, daughters of Jerusalem, uh, by the rose and the hands filled, that ye stir not of my love, my love, till, uh, till uh, he pleases. Okay, but the main part was the, um, the main one was three. So, um, next one is chapter three, five, and six. Three, five, and six. This is this is all uh, Psalms of Solomon. Then we're gonna move into the Book of Enoch. But we're just showing the pleasant trees of a planting good, good, good fruit. Okay, uh, three, five, and six. Five and six. I charge you, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, by the rose and by the hands of the field, that ye stir not up, nor awake my love, till ye please. Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness like pillars of smoke, perfumed with myrrh and frankincense, with all powders of the merchants? So, you know, the, the, these are... This, this this is the feel, you know, when you, when you plant that. This is the smell good. This is when Yahushua left. <laughs> Every day, you know, smelling like myrrh. Boy, you know, just come down here and with the dumb. Okay, uh, 4, chapter 4, 8 and 16. 4 and 8 and 16. Okay. Uh, come with me from Lebanon, my spouse. With me from Lebanon. Look from the top of Ammonon. From the top of Shinur and Hermon, from the lion's den, from the mountains of the leopards. Thou hast ravaged my heart, my sister, and 91. 91. Encourage. Thou hast encouraged my heart, my sister, my spouse. Thou hast ravaged my heart, encouraged my heart, with one of thine eyes, with one chain of thy neck. How fair is thy love, my sister, my spouse? How much better is thy love than wine, and the smell of thine ointments than all spices? Thine lips, O oh my spouse, drip as the honeycomb. Honey and milk are under thy tongue, and the smell of thy garments is like the smell of Lebanon. A garden enclosed is my sister, Whoa, boy, you know she smells good right there. Man, you know what? Let me get the opposite of this, though. Because this is how the women used to... This is how it used to go down. This is how they used to go down. But the disobedience, you know, but it's coming back. You know, I ain't saying, you know, but the women that are very heavy under these curses, it's a curse. Uh, this is, um, uh, read that again, 12. A garden encloses my sister. Uh, uh, yeah, so she, she smelled good, man. She, this is, this is what when everything was good, man. Like it was, it was beautiful. Uh, now go to Isaiah three real quick. Uh, now these are, this is one of the curses though. Uh, sixteen, Isaiah three and sixteen. Uh, the next, next, uh, actually the next book over, Isaiah. Moreover, the daughter, moreover said Yah, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks, and wanting eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet. So, you know, it, it, it went from, yo, garnish, the smell is beautiful. Because she, because that was mixed with pride, uh, Verse 16, because they walk with missing necks in their hearty and go to, and it shows 24. This is, this is, this is cursed. I'm just bringing this, this particular one. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, just like in uh, Psalms of Solomon 4, and instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. And instead of a girdle or rent, you know, but the, the main part was that first part, you know, but, you know, even women ain't nothing like it was before the curses. Ain't nothing like it was before the curses. So I just wanted to point it out as a side note. But back to uh, Psalm of Solomon 4, that just brought me there. You know, these curses wasn't no joke. You know, y'all was pretty mad to make this thing. You know, y'all you know, pretty mad. All right. Um, verse 12. It's Psalms of Solomon 4. A garden enclosed is my sister, my spouse, a spring shut up, a fountain sealed, 
thy plants are an ostrich of a orchard of pomegranates. Man, I mean, this, you just don't get the smell of this, man. I don't know if y'all ever been into like a garden of mixed fruits and all this stuff. Man, the smell of y'all know what he's doing. This much is my point about garden. Y'all know what he's doing. Okay, uh, with pleasant fruits, uh, uh, camphor. What is that? Thirteen. Thirteen. Fragrance. Okay. Camp, uh, fruit fragrance with uh, spinker, uh, spinker and saffron, uh, calamus and cinnamon, with all trees of frankincense, myrrh and alloy, with all the sh cheap spices. A fountain of gardens, a well, a well of living waters, and streams from Lebanon. Awake, north wind, and come, thou south, blow upon my garden, that the spices thereof may flow out. Let my beloved come into his garden, come into his garden, and eat his pleasant fruits. Whoa! You see what all that garden pay out? <laughs> yeah! Mm. Yeah, again, man, if your marriage just can't cheer your marriage, man, it's, it's done, you know. But uh, this ain't about marriages, but this is about gardening. But you see how the joy, just reading about that, the pleasance of a, of a well garden is beautiful. Cheer you up, you're just thinking about it, man. Yeah. And it's going to get real deep in the book of Enoch. Okay, uh, 7, chapter 7, 1 through 9. 7, 1 through 9. Uh, same book, same book. We're gonna go the last book. We're gonna stay in the book of Enoch. That's gonna be the end of that. Uh, but it's the last book of uh, Psalm of Solomon, seven one through nine. How beautiful are thy feet with shoes, O princess, daughter! The joints of thy thighs are like jewels, and work of hands of a cunning workman. The, thy navel is like a round goblet, which wanteth not liquor. Thy belly is like a heap of wheat set about with lilies. Now start in the garden. Thy two breasts are like two young roes that are twins. Imagine, you know, the animals in your garden. It's beautiful. That's why That's why everything, the beauty of a garden, a well-manicured garden, is this is why it's almost sexual. He's making it sexual. Like, you, girl, you look good. You a well-put-together garden, you know? And this, and we see why we can go back in uh, 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 um, Genesis when Yah was talking about, you know, uh, the, 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 his garden has become wild. Like, what is this? Did they, they doing a shootout back there in my garden? I'm like, yo, you know, it's, you see why Yah was mad. Because he, he, this is what Yah is used to. And, you know, y'all got roaches in the garden. Y'all got crack pipes. Yo, I would be mad, infuriated. So, and and get, you know, you know, and you see why? Uh, because I mean, because Yah is all about beauty. How can I beautify this? How can I take this and take out the rocks and all this? I'm putting in all this hard work. What it said in, in Isaiah? In Isaiah, what more could I have done? This is why Yah is so infuriated, and this is why he say, you know what? Instead of sweet smelling, stink on you, because I've done everything to you. You know, so y'all, y'all's very touchy about his garden, everybody. He's very touchy about it <laughs> because he put so much work into this. <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> you know, okay. uh, the name, uh, verse two, uh, verse three. That two breasts are like two young rows that are twine. They're twins. Thy neck is like a tower of ivory. Thy Thine eyes are like fish poles in Hishbon by the gate of uh, Rephim. Thy nose is like the Tower of Lebanon, which looketh towards Damascus. Damascus. Thine head, thine head is like thine, thine head upon thee is like caramel, and the hair of thine head is like purple. The king is held in the galleries. How fair and how pleasant art thou, O love, for the light. This thy statue is like to a palm tree, and thy breast to clusters of grapes. Why, 
You see why y'all's mad about the rapes. <laughs> y'all, y'all messing up everything, boy. See, well, once you understand and, you know, you, you put everything in context, like, why is y'all so picky about this garden? You know, now it's starting to come everything for, you know, you messed up my thing. So you just let your son borrow your brand new 2018 Benz uh, uh, SUV and he bring it back to you with potholes in it and busted thing, one was busted out. You, you're infuriated, you know? That's how y'all is when he sees Zion, like my garden. My choice garden. What? You know? Um, okay, there's how fair. Six. How fair and how pleasant art thou, O love, or delight. This thy statue is like to a palm tree, and thy breast to clusters of grapes. I said, I will go up to the palm tree. I will take hold of, of the bowls thereof. Now also thy breast shall be a, as clusters of thy of the vine, and the smell of thy nose like apples. Oh man, you see, man, y'all don't get it, man. Y'all not, y'all don't get it, man. What hell this is? <laughs> y'all not get, y'all not. Once you understand how wonderful it was, I mean, I had to sit down because that made me sad. I'm stuck in this. Oh man. Man, oh my god. And we go in the book he's not really gonna explore how, how, how beautiful it is, but man, she you read that uh verse eight and the smell of thy nose like apples. Boy, and you see why y'all I mean I know y'all wish you was mad, yo. Mad. Instead of smelling apples and frankincense, just feces. I know before he left, one more smell, one more smell. I'm ready. No, is that? Oh, you should come down like that. You know what was smell? Like, I would too, man. You like, cause you know what's coming. This is death. This is death, man. This is rotting flesh. The living day. I mean, you know. Okay. Verse nine. Uh, verse nine. And, and the roof of thy mouth like the best wine for my beloved that goeth down sweetly, causing the lips of those that are asleep to speak. Oh, man. Yeah. Woo! That's a good wine from a good field. You don't get that from anywhere else. You got to plant it in the good soil with the good seed, and you get the good wine. <laughs> Y'all, oh, man, that made me excited right there, boy. Oh, man. That's the hey, man. This garden stuff is important, and you see, you see the meticulous care that Yah has. It's almost OCD, but it's not bad in a bad way. It's like, man, I want it to be perfect. perfect. That's what Yah is about: perfection. We're going through this hell to be perfected for our garden to be perfected, so we can have a uh, bountiful fruit, so we can be that plush uh, 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 mustard seed. You know, this is why Yah is doing all this stuff. Okay, now we'll go to the book of Enoch. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, he used, I didn't use the phone, he used it. You should already have it, Shema. The Enoch. Alright, this is going to be chapter uh, 24. Chapter 24. 1. Chapter 24, verse 1, 5, and 8. Chapter 24. 24. Uh huh. And it should start off with and and thence I went. Okay. So it's gonna be one verse one five to eight. And thence I went. So this is Enoch. He's um he he's, he was taken up uh um to to the heaven and um to 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 be a scribe and uh and to and to do the book of Enoch. Uh, so right now he, he's in heaven. 
And thence I went to another place, and he showed me in the midst another great, a, uh, in the in the west another great and high mountain, and of hard rock. Verse five, verse five to eight. I saw the spirits of the children of man who were dead, their voices of heaven. What is this? Oh, right, this is a side note. I thought it was funny, though. I'll read it anyway. <coughs> I thought it was funny. This is the one scripture that's a side note. This, um, because this, 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 this is a precept to um, Revelations, uh, six and eight, when um, they cry from the, from the, the, the ones who, who got uh, murdered in the, in the tribulation. They were underneath, and they were crying out, uh, for how long, you know, will y'all, will you not avenge us, y'all? Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So. Now I don't know if y'all know about Cain. Cain is mad as hell, <laughs> and you gonna you gonna understand this. Cain, I mean, Cain been there for six thousand years, and he mad as hell. You gonna you gonna see. Uh, verse five. I saw the spirits. This is the only one side though. I, I thought this was fun, funny. That's why I was reading it last night. I thought it was funny. I share it. I, I saw the spirits of the children of men, whom were dead, and their voice went forth to heaven and made suits. Meaning, you know, they, they um, like a lawsuit, you know, like they're making a legal suit. Yeah. Then I asked Raphael, the angel, who was with me? And and I said unto him, this spirit, whose is it, whose is it, whose voice goeth forth and make it suit? I saw the spirit of a dead man making suit legal a legal suit and his voice went forth to heaven and made suits and i asked raphael the angel who's who was with me and i said unto him this spirit which make it suit whose is it whose voice goeth forth and make it suit to heaven verse seven and he answered me saying this is the spirit of this this is the spirit which went forth from Abel, whose his brother Cain slew. Here we go. And he makes his suit, his legal uh, uh, arguments against him till his seed is destroyed from the face of the earth and his seed is annihilated from amongst the seed of man. Abel, man, it's him. What? That's the only seed. What I'm saying is not only uh, did, did he saying it, but you know, Abel in the, in the kingdom, mad. I want him dead. Kill him. He killed me. I, Abel was probably planting in the garden, and all of a sudden, pop, <laughs> blood. <just shot. laughs> he mad. Abel mad, man. What chapter was that? Bro? that that's, uh, that's, that's chapter 24. Uh, uh, one, five to nine. Okay, but uh, I just thought that was funny. And I was just sharing with the brothers because I was like, dang, see what these people, but I keep on stretching that point. A lot of people think that just because somebody dead, um, or just time has moved on, everything good. Justice has no time limit, right. Ju justice must be for uh, fulfilled one way by forgiveness, repentance. Or judgment cast down. It's like even death cannot fulfill the void of, of judgment. It has something has to be either forgiveness or the judgment. You know, and, and, and Abel is living testimony because he up in, in heaven right now just yelling, <laughs> What is it? <laughs> well, they, they probably put him in his own room, you know, soundproof where he screamed all day. <laughs> but that was just a side note that I thought was funny. Uh, the next chapter over, 25, 1 through 9. Chapter uh, 1 through 9. 25, chapter 25, 1 through 9. Uh, From thence I went to another place, to the west of the end of the earth, and I saw a burning fire. This is y'all start, right? Yeah, Enoch 25 and 1. Uh, and he said to me, even if thou ask me, you the presence of the tree. Yeah, that's probably my... thou hast learned the truth. 
my phone probably was different than you said. And I answered and said, I wish to know about everything, but especially about this tree. Talk about this tree. Yeah, that's probably my phone is a little different than the phone. Yeah, your phone messed me up, man. Uh, well, phone messed me up. This is like certain books of Enoch, all the, um, all the translations are different. Uh, if you don't got the same translation. And and from this I went to another place of the earth and he saw me. Well, I'm just using that. I'm sorry. I try. I try to. I try to yeah, give you. A, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Twenty-five. 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 Tw
got kicked out of and what Eve got kicked out of was pure beauty. Waking up to sweet smelly fragrances, almond trees, apple trees. Oh my goodness. Eve breath smell like passion fruit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you don't get what we you don't get what hell this is, man. And I guess we ain't gonna get it until we get there, man. But I'm reading this and I'm thinking about it and I'm like, wow. The best fruit here is rottenness to what's in the kingdom. Okay, and that's uh, now we're gonna go to uh, uh, Enoch 29, one to two. Enoch 29, one to two. And this is gonna go Enoch 29, 30, 31, and 32. That'll be the, the end of it. They short chapters, uh, but 29. And thence I went to another place in the desert and approached to the east of this mountain range. And there I saw a romantic, uh, a, a romantic, a, a ro not romantic, but a, like a Roma, like a, 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 a remote, a, a tree with uh, aroma oh, wow. trees, ex excelling the fragrance of frankincense, frankincense and myrrh, and the trees also were similar to the almond tree. Verse 30. So you're not checking out the trees, look good. 30, uh, chapter 30. And behold, these I went, I, and behold, these I went afar to the east, and I saw another place, a valley full of water. And therein there was a tree, the color of fragrant trees, such as the majestic. Verse 3, and on the sides of the, those valleys I saw fragrant cinnamon, and behold, these I proceeded to the east. Verse 31, and I saw another mountain, and amidst them were groves of trees, and there flowed forth from them nature, oh man, man, which is named Sharara and Gil Galbanum, Galbanum, and behold, these mountains I saw another mountain to the east of the ends of the earth, whereon were a where aloe trees and all trees were full of stacked were full of stack, being like almond trees. And when one burnt it, it smelled sweeter than any fragrant odor. Oh man, you they have never burned it. Light it up. Y'all like, light it up. Light it up. Play the trap up, man. Y'all. Now you know Zion got flavor. Y'all got flavor. So I ain't gonna be up here like, you know, Yahoo's ain't up in there. You know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be out there. They got the town. What you gonna do? They got tambourines going. They playing hard. What they, they have a good time. Like, like the incense, like the tree. Man, yo. Oh, man. And it said, it said, verse 32. Verse 32. And it said, it said, verse 3. And when one burnt it, it smelled sweeter than any fragrant odor. Meaning, I ain't smell nothing like this that I can compare it to. This is, oh, man. Glory, man, you all, man, they just don't know, man. These sinners just don't know. Well, they know, they just choose, you know, that they, they you know, they, they want this person. They, they, they want the incense from the, uh, 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 what? Country Western School. Yeah, that, nah, we're going to get worse than that. They want it from the gas station. So, yeah, you know, incense right there. Uh, purple passion, yeah. <laughs> purple passion. <laughs> Purple rain, yeah, yeah, light it up, man. Nah, y'all, y'all missing out, man. All right, it's the last one, uh, uh, 30, 31 and thirty-two. Oh uh, yeah, well, this is the last one, thirty-two. Uh, twenty-five. Nah, twenty-five. Nah, just uh, thirty-two. That whole chapter, one, one through seven. Uh, okay. I already read uh, twenty-five. And after these fragrant odors. As I looked towards the north over the mountains, I saw seven mountains full of choice, choice nerd. I don't nerd. I don't know what nerd is. I don't know what that is. But and, and fragrant, and fragrant trees 
and cinnamon and pepper. Oh my goodness, man. You see what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all know what he's doing, man. When he puts certain things together, I mean, you know, you know what he's doing. And thence I went over the summits of all these mountains far towards the east of the earth and passed above the Euphrates Sea and went forth from it and passed over the angel of Zotal and I came to the garden of righteousness. Man! Boy, y'all big on these gardens, I'm telling y'all. And far up and from afar off I saw trees more numerous than those trees and two great trees there. Very great, beautiful, and glorious, and magnificent. I ain't never heard nobody put those words together about any garden on the planet Earth. Oh, it's a beautiful garden. Wow, it's a nice garden. He put these three words together. Very great, beautiful, and glorious, and magnificent. He could have stopped at glorious. He had to add magnificent. So you know the garden is beautiful. And you know... <laughs> <laughs> like he couldn't just get over it, man. Okay, okay. Uh, and the tree of knowledge, whose holy fruit could dash fruit, they eat and know great wisdom. Ah, uh, in righteousness. That tree is in height like the fair, and its leaves are like those of the coral tree. And its fruit is like the clusters of the vine. Very beautiful. And the fragrance of the tree uh, pen- penetrates afar. Now, y'all know what this tree is, right? This is the tree that got us in trouble. <laughs> so, you know, that tree was just penetrating Eve. No! Every time she walked by, no! No! She just, no! <laughs> no, but that one day she did. <laughs> Boy, uh, all right. Oh no, no, this was a one hour oh, man. This was a one time deal, you know. Uh, and the fragrance of the tree penetrates afar. Verse five. Then I said, How beautiful is the tree, and how attractive is it look. Yo, yeah, man, I'm telling you, y'all is a master gardener. He's a master gardener. Yes, yes. I ain't never heard, I ain't never heard nobody say, man, that tree is attractive. Yeah. Like, y'all picking up on these words, man? Yeah. Attractive. Uh, verse 6. Then Raphael, the holy angel, the Kadesh angel, who was with me, answered me and said, This is the tree of wisdom, of which thy father of old in years and thy aged mother who were before thee have eaten and they learned wisdom and their eyes were open and they knew that they were naked and they were driven out of the garden man but that's you know I just want to let y'all know man what what y'all plants when he does it it's beautiful and and when it's in righteousness when when, when those who are going to be over there we're gonna be in it. I mean, it's gonna be delectable, delightful. What 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 Enoch said? A uh, very great, beautiful, and glorious, and one more magnificent. Uh, so <laughs> so this is what everybody who's into righteousness got to look forward to. I mean, beautiful. We got into the songs of Solomon. We read about how Yah is very. It, it, this is why Yah was so mad when he seen what happened to his garden. I mean, infuriated. You no. Know? Yeah. So, um, but it's coming back to the righteous and, and for the elect, and this is only for the particular.